Warrington and Coast. Steve, it must be a very proud day for you seeing all this work at long last happening in Warrington Town Centre. Well, it certainly is, Gary. This has been a long time coming. Uh, there's a lot of work underway now, as people can see. Uh, a lot of effort being put in by the Borough Council, uh, News Developments, Warrington and Co. Obviously, did managing the delivery. Very proud moment for all of us. I mean, it has taken so long. Were there any other doubts that it would happen? I don't think there's any other doubts, but it's a very complex scheme uh, and not one that can get off the ground very easily. Uh, there's been a lot of preparation, a lot of effort being put in. Um, never any doubts in the people that are, have been key to making this happen up to now. So we're all, we're all very confident of its future. I mean, and in times of austerity and recession that we've been through in the last few years, it must have been taken a lot of work to put a package together to fund all this. Well, it, it certainly has, and it's really important as well that you know the council, uh, its development partners, and Warrington and Co. all do get together and plan in times of austerity because it's important that there's that level of public sector intervention so that we can future-proof the sound centre and make sure it has that fantastic offer uh, for the people of Warrington and for the businesses of Warrington. With all the work going on, how do you ensure that it's business as usual in the town centre? Well, it's a very difficult thing. It's communication is absolutely vital. All the hoardings that we have around the site make it clear that the market is open for trade and it will continue to, for, to trade throughout the entirety of the scheme. Uh, we, we make a lot of uh, use of social media and we work with partners like yourselves in the media to make sure we get that message out that it is very much business as usual and we do hope the businesses will work with us through what will inevitably be a uh, small amount of disruption. Okay Steve, thank you. Thank you. Council. Terry, the work, demolition work started here at long last at Times Square. What are the plans now? The plans are obviously to demolish it as quickly as we can, build the new build for the market relocation and then start on the brand new build for the uh, IMAX cinema, restaurants and civic offices. What sort of time scale are we talking? Three to four years. And what can people expect to see? I mean, the important message, I suppose, is that Warrington Market is still open as usual. The, most, the important message is that ma the market's trading as normal. We've got a big thing on this Saturday about communications, and uh, the market will, will trade as, as best as it can, and we will help it trade as best as it can. We're putting events on throughout the demolition period and, and throughout the new build. But I mean, the market is definitely trading. I mean, we've been talking about the redevelopment of Warrington Town Centre for many years now. I mean, it, it must be almost a relief that the work has started. Um, it, it was a very difficult project to deliver. Um, I'd like to thank all the officers involved and obviously Muse, but uh, I'd also like to thank the market traders and the town centre traders because uh, of their patience and, and obviously everything's moving forward now and we should have a, a town centre and, a, and a, a, a bridge street quarter that we, we will be proud of. This is a real landmark giant moment for Warrington because we're getting a brand new IMAX cinema plus restaurants, plus civic offices and a brand new market. I think it will re regenerate the town beyond recognition and it's something that the likes of Liverpool and Manchester would be envy of. More positive news for Warrington. Massive, massive positive news for Warrington. Thank you, Tony.